Hi all, this is Chris Sherrill with Everyday VBA. In this video we're going to be looking at handling multiple errors with an error handler. And I've got some code here. The code is basically causes two errors. So the first one is you're trying to divide something by zero. Uh, math doesn't like that. And then the next one is um, you're trying to add text to a comment and that comment doesn't actually exist, right? That's a problem. So, um, so in order to do that, there's a couple ways to do that. I'm going to show you actually both of them. So the first one would be you're just going to do an on error um, and this is go to uh, ERR1. Now I'm going to call it, uh, let's see, go like that. So the first kind of basic setup is you're going to go ERR1 and you're going to put a, uh, a colon there and that's going to, when there's an error, it's going to go down to handle that. Now you need to put an exit sub here. So I'm going to show you kind of both of the ways to do this and then I'm also going to show you kind of some more advanced um, kind of error handling techniques. So. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go, you know, we know that if for whatever reason we've coded and we've got some, if it's equal to zero, then we're going to, uh, we need to change it. So we're going to go x equals one um, and we will, I will show you how that this handles that first error. So we get that error. Uh, we've got to add, we've got to turn that variable, make it equal to one and we're just going to do resume and it's going to go right back to that loan. It, that line, I almost said loan, right back to that line and it's going to process that and we're not going to have an error anymore. That error is taken care of. Now this error, it's going to go there and we're just going to have basically a little infinite loop problem here. So we would need to make sure that if we did have, we did know that we were counting for multiple errors, we would want to have um, on error go to ERR2. And this is simply, um, you're going to come down here and you're going to type in exit sub and you're going to put in ERR2, the colon in. And in this case, we know that if this error is happening in this code, uh, we need to basically add a comment or add a, not a comment, um, we need, yeah, we do need to add a, not necessarily a comment of the code, but we need to add in a comment so that there's a place to add that text. So it'd be range b9 dot comment dot add add comment sorry add comment okay and we would be good. So let's go ahead and run this real quick. So we're gonna go there. We've got an error. We're gonna fix that. We're gonna resume. We're gonna come down here. Now we're going to do it a little different. We're, if we get that error, we're going to go to error handler number two, and we're going to resume this. And we don't necessarily need to resume next because it would basically skip that line. We added a comment. It goes right there. That comment text has been added. We can edit that comment. There it is. And we are golden. So that's, that's one way to handle those. Um, it's probably the simplest way to handle them. The other way to do it is to have a single error handler in which you determine what that error code is. So for example, in this case, we would go if um, err dot name or number. Um, you could do a couple. You could do error number or error description. So in this case, um, we are going to go if error number. First of all, we need to figure out what number we have. So what we're going to do here is um, I'm going to write a completely different error handler that handles both of these. So we're going to have to do a couple things. We're going to do them pretty quick. Um, we're going to do this. Um, this is going to be ERR both. Put in our column right there. We need to make sure that we put in an exit sub. Hopefully this doesn't get too confusing. Um, and how we're going to handle both is we're going to handle it based on what kind of error that we get. And this can be helpful when you have a really long set of code and you're getting, you want to basically handle certain, you want to handle certain codes, but you don't want to handle other ones. Um, so for example, if you had at a certain area of your code, you wanted to basically make sure that you added a comment for a section. 
but if you didn't get that error, you want to do something else, that this would be a great way to kind of debug that. All right, so we are going to stop this. And I'm going to show you how we would go about this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go on error, go to er bulk. Okay. Now I'm going to comment these out. To comment, you just do a single quote. And we're going to write some code just to manage both of these. So it goes to err both. We want to find out. I'm going to use my immediate window. I'm going to be coding pretty quick here. err dot uh, number. We're going to. I'll show you description here real quick, just so that you know it's an overflow error. Er dot number. This would be a little bit more specific. So you'll notice when you get a debug error, it's going to say this is an overflow error. It's error number six, right? Which that number typically doesn't mean a whole lot. Um, so we're going to do we're going to write our error handler so that it handles um, the description. So we're going to go if er dot dot description equals overflow. Now we got to put that in text. So, and then we're going to do then. And then we're going to do else if. And that will be for the next piece that we get to. And if err.description equals something else, that'll be the next for the next piece. We're going to go through this real quick. We're going to go uh, x equals zero. Can't make it equal to zero. As I'm typing, I'm thinking that's not going to work. So hit F8. It turns out to zero. We go to the end app, end, um, the end if because we're done. We resume. Now we're going to get that. Uh, we would get that error. If it didn't have a comment, so we gotta delete that comment. It's deleted. Coming back here, we got that error. I need to know what that error description is. So you'll notice that this description is a little bit more descriptive. It is the object variable or with block variable statement not set. Well, I don't necessarily want to use that, so I'm actually gonna use the error number. And so we're gonna go error number if it's equal to. 91. Now, I don't need to put that in uh, quotes because it's a number. We are good to go, and we know that if we have an error, we just have to add this little piece of code. We're going to add the comment. We're going to add that comment. We're going to resume, and it's going to put in that text, and we are good to go. So that's two ways to handle um, multiple error statements within code. Uh, using a using an error handler, this, those are two very good ways to use it. It really depends on what you're doing and how complex your uh, your code is, but you can use both of those. Uh, they're very very useful. Hopefully we didn't hopefully I didn't confuse you. And actually, if you uh, if you like more videos like this, make sure that you subscribe to the Everyday VBA channel, as well as if you like this video, go ahead and add a like in there. I hope you enjoyed.